Learners, today I want to talk about recursive functions. So I'm going to start with a function that's not recursive. This little function is called plot circle and it has one input argument I can tell because I'm counting how many variables are in those parentheses there. So I can say plot circle and I need to spell it right. Um, but then in the parentheses I'm going to pass in a number and that number is used in the program. It checks to see if the radius that I'm passing in is greater than or equal to one. If it is, I'll go ahead and print plotting radius, in this case five. I'm interested in drawing a, a circle and that's gonna be 360 degrees or two pi radians. So I've got a vector that keeps track of in increments of 0 0.01 all the all the different angles that I would need to create that 360 degrees. Here's the x values for each of those and the y values for each of those and then I'll go ahead and plot. So when I run this I get a single circle with the radius that I passed in the parentheses. So if I pass in the 5 we get a radius of 5. If I pass in the 2 it's a radius of 2. Okay I'm going to uncomment this line here because this will create a recursive function. A recursive function is a function that calls itself. So if the name of my function is plot circle and I have a function call to plot circle with inside of my function, bam, I have a recursive function. So let's take a look at what's happening here. I'm calling the same function again, but with a different radius. So if you pass in a 5, the first time you call the function the radius is 5, but then it says call the function again with a radius of 4. And what do you imagine will happen when you call it with a radius of 4? Well, it's going to call itself again with a radius of 3, and then 2, and then 1. And we only will keep calling the function while this if statement is true, while the radius is greater than or equal to 1. So I'm going to save the change to that and try plot circle 5. And I see I have created five different circles because I'm recursively calling this function over and over until the radius that I'm passing in is no longer greater than or equal to 1. So I could try it again with you know a smaller number, number 3 and now I've got three circles. I could do a bigger number with 30 and then I will have this very colorful 30 circles. Um, so that is an example of a graphical like recursive function.